Hello, everyone. It's time to read a book. This one's called David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. David doesn't mean to get in trouble. It's not his fault. Most of the time, it's just an accident. Or maybe he forgot something. Or some furniture got in the way. Once again, David Shannon proves he knows every excuse in the book, especially when faced with the age-old problem of dealing with grown-ups. No, David! David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. The Blue Sky Press. These are some thick pages, wow. Look at that, oh, they aren't thick, okay. <clears throat> when David gets in trouble, he always says, no, it's not my fault. See, David is an angel and he didn't use green in this drawing and he didn't use purple in this drawing. So those crayons have been drawn in so that we know they still exist. I didn't mean to! David, what are you doing? You're knocking the mail off the, you're knocking the whole table, the lamp! Oh no, skateboarding in the house is not allowed. It was an accident! <gasps> oh. oh, oh. David breaks things all the time. Do I have to? Does this ever happen to you? You get a plate of something you don't want to eat and you have to sit there even though you don't want to eat it? He's been drinking the orange juice. Why doesn't he eat the eggs? They're the same color, aren't they? Eggs are orange, orange juice is orange, and his skin is orange. <clears throat> I forgot. She's running after him with, uh, what did David forget? David, the kids are laughing at you. What did David forget? Oh, David's got no pants on. Look out, that's not a good idea, David. You shouldn't do that. <sighs> my dog ate my homework. Because all the other kids have their homework Oh, but his dog did eat his homework. Look, there's the dog, there's the homework, and there's an empty desk. No one believes him, though. Does that ever happen to you? No one believes you? It's terrible. I couldn't help it! What's going on here? Oh, all of the children in the school, everyone in David's class, when the cameraman says smile, they all smile. Even the teacher, even though her head's cut off. Um. David! David! <gasps> you ruined the school picture? Dickens Elementary School now has the worst class picture ever because David decided to laugh at a funny joke. That boy lost a tooth. Sometimes we lose our teeth. I hope he finds it. <clears throat> I was hungry! Doggy! Here's a problem with the binding of this book. The G is stuck back there. D-O-G-G-Y. Yums. Doggy yums. And David is eating the doggy yums. Are you kidding me? That's disgusting. Oh, David's gonna get... He's gonna get... He's gonna get dog poisoning. He's gonna get a tail and he's gonna start barking. But then he won't have to go to school, so not so bad. But she likes it! Does anyone have cats? I don't have a cat, but I had a cat when I was growing up. We had a few cats. And something I know about cats, they really don't like it when you touch their tail. Most cats do what that cat is doing. You see the claws? The claws come out. And it's time for David to lose an arm or a leg. The cat is gonna spin around and bite him and scratch him. That is not a good way to pet a cat. Yeah, David. It slipped! David, what'd you, what'd you drop? He's carrying too many things. He has donuts? Those are donuts in that box. And he has like Twizzler ropes and some chips 
and a purple dinosaur, and he dropped a cup of juice on the carpet. White carpet and red juice. David, you are in trouble! Mmm, trouble. But Dad says it! Has this ever happened to anyone? That is a bar of soap in David's mouth. Because David said a bad word. Terrible, terrible taste. Anyway, hey, what's that red stuff? Excuse me! I think he just burped and blew the flowers over. You should not burp at the table. That is not a thing you do. You do not burp at the table. No burping at the table. No, it wasn't me. Uh-huh. Does, does that look like it wasn't him? Does anyone believe that that wasn't him? I don't believe it. Yes, it was me. Why do you say it was me? Anybody know? Maybe he's sorry. Maybe he got sent to bed. Is he wearing the same shirt? Yes, he was wearing that shirt and then he got sent to bed. And now he's trying to apologize. Yes, it was me. He's telling the truth. I'm sorry. Because you have to apologize. I love you, Mom. See, parents still love their children even though they gotta discipline them sometimes. These are timers. 60, 45, 15, 30. And the timers keep going on and on and on. And then they ring. That's David Gets in Trouble by David Shannon. We do hope you've enjoyed this great, amazing book show. And if you'd like to listen to further titles, subscribe and continue to enjoy more of these fascinating stories.